So, hi Suzanne <laughs> for this uh, studio class prompt. I just looked at the first uh, eight measures of the meditation. And I actually looked at the, um, how do you say, at the piano part, um, the full score, we say that, if it's not orchestra. I don't know, so you know what I mean. Um, and uh, I didn't count the first two measures. It's um, so the eight starts when the violin starts also because the first two measures are just uh, piano. And I looked at the harmony and as far as I can tell uh, it starts all in pure D major including the first introductory measures they're also in D and then um, it has uh, first measure D, second measure D, third measure D, and then G, G major, which is um, the subdominant, right? And then it gets interesting. It goes to E minor, which is um, the second degree. How do you call that? Um, I don't know, so second degree in, e, in, in D major, E minor. And it has two measures of E minor, and then it has um, A7, which is dominant sevens, and then four, but only half measure for each of them, so it gets more compressed and more intense. And then it has, again, just one measure with two harmonies, um, uh, dominant sevens and then something completely <laughs> out of the ordinary. Uh, it has um, actually B flat minor. So um, the sixth degree would be B minor, but it has um, half step lower than that so it's this is the chromatic thing so um, and then it goes back into D major so I think as my main notes I want to play F sharp for the first measure and then I've debated with myself for the second measure it's still in D but I think the most important note is uh, B, which is not part of um, the D chord. But anyway, so that would be like this. but uh, it's mostly that the melody notes are a third above the, uh, the, the, um, the chord note, <laughs> the root note of the chord. So that's, um, in the beginning it's D, but it D major as a chord, but it starts with um, F sharp. measures and uh, I think the uh, main note to play there is the G but it becomes so that would also be the third of the E minor chord um, but I don't want to play it up I want to play it down like seventh chord, but the note to play would be C sharp. <laughs> <laughs> 
this side of the bus stop. And then it's the beginning. So I try to sing what <laughs> is missing. So. Yeah, so I think these two <laughs> E minor chord, uh, measures are interesting. If I want to play the G, I need it. That's the G up there, but. end of the second measure of the E minor, I will go into the uh, B, which is <laughs> the fifth, and that's also part of the, um, of the melody that's written. So on reconsideration, I will do it like this. Okay, so that's it for just these first eight measures and um, it took me a long time to think about that and read all these chords in uh, bus clef and these kind of things. So I don't uh, want to extend this because I also have very little time because of work pressure. So. Um, I leave it with that, but it was interesting to do, and um, I might even do at least the remainder of the first part, and maybe even also the middle part, or maybe then there's a repetition, but then there's a coda, a small coda, maybe that one. So that was fun. Thank you for this suggestion, and talk to you soon. Bye for now.